What's up, YouTube? I'm back out here in the woods where uh, I showed you guys that deer stand in one of my previous videos that I was working on. And uh, it's August now in South Carolina. Well, it'll be August in uh, two days. So, you know, our deer season starts August 15th here in South Carolina. So I wanted to come on out here and set up uh, a trail camera. And uh, you see, I'm gonna set it across from this feeder in this trophy rod. But yeah, I just wanted to um, make this video to show you guys this uh, camera lock box that I have. I actually got it from camlockbox.com. And uh, I was running into some issues where a few of my cameras got stole off the property that I hunt. And uh, now I have to use these lock boxes. It's crazy, but that's the world we live in. People try to just take stuff and do whatever it's crazy but anyway i have to use these now to try to keep the few cameras that i have so i just wanted to show you guys this uh lock box i have the part number to the box and everything in the description um when i get back to the house because i can't remember the part numbers to any of this stuff but uh let me get started and i'll show you guys what i got going on out here but uh these are some of the tools i'm going to use it's just a drill, a ratchet, Wild Games Innovation Camera. I can't remember the part number to it either, but I have it in the description when I get back to the house. Uh, two lag bolts, a lock, and the lock box. I have to go back to um, one of my old spots and show you guys, because I usually don't just use the lock. I usually use a lock and a cable lock. Like I have the lock going the bottom right here and I have cable locks going through these holes actually holding it to the tree. But um, this time I'm only going to use the lock and we'll see how it goes. See if this camera stays out here or if somebody messes with it. But all right, let me get started. All right, I took the back of the lock box off and used that to see where I wanted to drill the holes on the tree using the drill. And uh, you probably can't see it, but I have a hole in the tree right there and one right there. So we're just gonna take the ratchet and then just basically screw those lag bolts into the tree. All right, now the lock box is bolted to the tree and it's not going anywhere. I use those lag bolts and I had to use this, uh, this ratchet right here. So those bolts are in there good and tight. And then let me see if I can get it in here. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You set the camera in there and you take the front of the lock box here. Let's see if I can get it one-handed yep just like that and if you want you can add a cable lock that runs through here and tie it around the tree or you can just use a lock that goes on the bottom right here and then, uh, that's what I'm gonna do and uh, like I say we had it looking right at the feeder and the trophy rock. And here have all this stuff set up at the end of a shooting lane from my deer stand. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, put the lock on. In one of the last videos, I said that the uh, camera was looking right at the feeder and the um, trophy rock, and I was all wrong. 
<laughs> it was totally off. It was looking like in the wrong direction. So I had to move it. Um, I dropped it down a little bit and angled it more this way. And uh, now it's right. So let me show you guys. I just had to move it a little bit. It was just looking in the wrong direction. And I just put a stick, like a little twig or something back there to hold it off the tree a little bit. So we could get the right angle I was looking for. But uh, it's still in there good. It's in there really good. So it shouldn't go anywhere. And now I also have this master lock added on the bottom of it. So if somebody can actually get the box off the tree, they'll probably have to break this to get the camera out. And in turn, they'll probably break the camera. So hopefully nobody messes with this one. I'll show you guys the other two that I have. I have them uh, mounted up higher. I use like a ladder and put them up higher on the tree so people can't reach them. But uh, I'm actually gonna go check those cameras so I'll, I'll show you guys what they look like when I get to them. I'm also gonna throw some corn out here so you can see if we get any good pictures. Alright, this is another cam lock box I have. And this one actually has the lock cable on the tree and the master lock on the bottom. And I also have this one higher up in the tree. Um, I actually have to use this ladder to get to it. You wouldn't be able to reach it without it. But um, if you're in an area where people are trespassing or trying to steal your stuff, you have to use them. And I'm, uh, uh, I'm about to change the batteries on this one because this one was actually up since last season. So I'm about to change the batteries and uh, delete the pictures from the SD card and get this one set back up. Uh, this is a little spot right here. I usually throw corn and uh, there's another trophy rock. You can see they're tearing up the ground all around it. But yeah, I put corn right here, have a trophy rock, stuff like that. and. This is a good little spot right here. I actually threw some corn out here. It's barely growing. It's struggling. Basically just came and threw it out. I'm surprised it's doing what it's doing. It's, it's growing a little, but we haven't been getting much rain, so it's struggling. And I, I actually, you can't see it from here, I don't think, but there's a deer stand I have all the way back there. I don't use that one too often, but what I do, I usually set a blind in the woods right over here. And then I uh, watch my bait and my trophy rock this right here in this area. Because there, there's a path in the woods back here that the deer like to cross. So I have my stuff set up right here. And I usually wait over here in the blind. But uh, I have one more lockbox I'm going to go to. I'm about to uh, get this one back up and running, change the batteries and change the time and everything. And if I get to the other one before it gets dark, I'll show that one to you guys as well. And here's the third trail camera that I have on this property. I actually put this one in a lockbox because um, I had a camera on this exact same tree and it was lower and somebody actually stole it. So this time I put it up higher and uh, put it in the lockbox. Got a master lock on it, cable lock. And it's been here for a year now, nobody's bothered it, so hopefully it's good now. And this is the same spot where I actually did the video um, where I did the watering hole. And it's over there. Water and hole is somewhere over there. You can't see it. I have to walk over there so you guys can see it up close. But this is my other little spot that I'm working on. I'm going to get this camera back up and running, change the batteries in it, and uh, set it back up. 
And I also have a stand over here. And I have one more uh, camera that's set up, but it's actually on a different piece of property. And I'm not gonna be able to get there before it, it gets dark. So I'll try to get down there tomorrow sometime so I can show you guys my other setup. It's actually on a different piece of property, but uh, you see what I got. And this one is actually on a Simmons tree. My other cameras, I put all my other cameras on uh, on uh, oak trees, oak trees, because they have the acorns on them, and you know deers, deer, they love acorns. So all my other cameras are on oak trees. And this one is actually on a Simmons tree, and uh, the deer love Simmons as well, so that's why I put it on this tree. But you see a storm came through and actually knocked the top of the tree off, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> I believe the rest of the tree looks to be okay, though, so I guess it's still going to be dropping Simmons. But uh, I guess we'll see. I'll let you guys know how it works out. Let me get started on changing this camera out. <laughs> 